Hi guys, today let's take a look at how to upgrade the Wi-Fi chip of your laptop to a more advanced Wi-Fi 6 card. You can do this by yourself if you follow the steps correctly. Previously I made a video on how to add a Wi-Fi 6 card onto a desktop PC and I was getting some requests to make a video for laptops. So here we go. Please support the channel by liking this video and subscribe if you find my videos useful. Let's roll the intro and get into the meat of the video. Now firstly, we absolutely need to be sure of what kind of card is installed on our laptop or specifically what is the connector type of the card. Most modern laptops have moved to M.2 connectors for their Wi-Fi cards and some still have the half mini PCI connectors. There are various other types as well but most of them are out of date today and it does not make any sense to cover them. In fact, Wi-Fi 6 cards are not made for the older connectors for that matter. Talking about the mini PCI card, it looks like this and it is simple. If your connector is mini PCI, you need to buy a card that is physically exactly same as this. On the other hand, M.2 Wi-Fi cards look like this and there are various types of them. Let me clear the confusion first. Your laptop might have a M.2 slot for SSD as well. Do not confuse with that. The SSD slot is called the key M. So the Wi-Fi card cannot be installed on the SSD M.2 slot. The other slot will be either M.2 with key A or key E. The M.2 Wi-Fi card can be installed in both of them. As you can see, it has two cutouts to fit both forms with key A and key E. So you can get the model number of your installed card from the device manager of a Windows PC and get an idea of the type of card that your laptop has. But I would suggest to open your laptop and see it physically. That way you would never end up ordering the wrong card for your device. Open the back lid of your laptop. Please note that your warranty might be void if you do this under warranty. After the internals are exposed, look at the Wi-Fi card. On this laptop, it has a M.2 slot with key E. First remove the battery wire from the connector which is recommended. Remove the screw and the antenna wires. Then gently pull out the old card. Put in the new card at a 45 degree angle exactly as you pulled out the old one. Put the screw in place, install the antennas and we are done with the upgrade. Put back the battery wire and close the lid at last. I showed this on an M.2 port, the process is exactly same for any other type of card as well.
we do not need to install drivers if the system is a windows 10 or windows 11 for windows 8 or 7 we might need to install some drivers i will put up links for the drivers in the description of the video in case you need to install one the card supports ax protocol and the fastest it can go is 2400 mbps on wi-fi 6 5 gigahertz and 160 megahertz channel it also supports multi-user multi-input and output if your router supports it too i have both the mini pci card and the m.2 card and i can confirm that there is no difference in performance between them as both of them uses the same intel ax200 chip inside which is a strong wi-fi 6 chip i will provide links for both of these down below what are your thoughts on this let me know in the comments this is a week signing off see you in the next one